ATACMS missiles can completely destroy the Crimean Bridge. U.S. permission to use American weapons to destroy Russian military targets in occupied Crimea will make our life easier. This was stated by the head of the Ukrainian intelligence, Kirill Budinov, in an interview with the Philadelphia Inquirer. However, he believes that if Ukraine is allowed to use U.S. weapons to the full so-called operational depth in Russia that we can achieve, of course, it will be easier for us. He said the Crimean Peninsula, which Russia seized in 2014 and turned into a huge military base, could be cut off from supplies and forced into submission. Ben Hodges, the former commander of US Army Europe, is known to have previously said that this would be the key to forcing Russian President Vladimir Putin to go on the defensive. I absolutely share the opinion of General Hodges. Therefore, we must do everything to implement this, Budinov emphasized. The next step should be to stop all supplies to the Russian army in Crimea, along with Putin's favorite project the Kirsch Bridge. The publication recalled that Budanov had already been arrested in absentia by Moscow for the fact that the Crimean Bridge was seriously damaged in 2022. However, the scout considers this an honor. According to Budanov, the long-range ATA CMS missiles that US President Joe Biden delivered to Ukraine in recent months could completely destroy the bridge. Those who think these missiles aren't powerful enough to get the job done are wrong, he said. They must read the technical instructions. The only question is their quantity, but in principle, these missiles will allow us to complete such a mission, the military leader assured. Navy spokesman Dmitry Platenchuk said that Russia is trying to protect the Crimean bridge from sea drones by placing barges in front of it. However, according to him, this is not a strengthening. This is not even a fortification. These are attempts to narrow the passage. Then it will be easier to control it. They actually control it through aviation. Both helicopters and airplanes of various models are constantly in the air, he noted. At the same time, the former company commander of the Aida Battalion, Evgeny Diki, noted that the Ukrainian armed forces are using the Crimean bridge as bait. According to him, the military does not hit the object itself, but they frighten the enemy by destroying it. Russian air defense in Crimea is under threat. Ukraine disables all these systems. To disable Russian air defense systems, Ukraine does not need to destroy all launchers. Losing the radar already puts the system out of action. These nuances were explained by aviation expert and leading researcher at the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine, Valery Romanenko, for Channel 24 in the context of preparing large-scale operations in Crimea. In general, when a radar is hit, the entire complex becomes inoperable until it is replenished with a new radar, despite the fact that in general the launchers may be undamaged. Romanenko notes, attacks on air defense in Crimea continue in parallel with attacks on the Belgorod region and attacks by Ukrainian drones on facilities of the Russian military industrial complex. At the same time, Valery Romanenko notes that operations in Crimea and in the Belgorod region have different goals. In the first case, this is preparation for future strikes to destroy the enemy's logistics. In the second, the protection of frontline territories that the Russians are attacking with the help of the S-300. Recall, Ukrainian forces struck around 15 air defense systems in Russian-occupied Crimea over the past two months. The Ukrainian military recently hit several S-300, S-350 and S-400 air defense systems, according to the statement. Ukraine also struck more than 15 radar stations and over 10 control centers stationed in Russian-occupied peninsula. The military sites were located in Crimean settlements Chornomorsk, Tarkankut, Yevpatoria, Saki, Donsk, Belbek, Sevastopol, Alushta, Zankoy, Mysov, and near Ipetri Peak, according to the map published by Ukraine's Center for Strategic Communications. Ukraine has carried out several successful attacks against Russian targets in occupied Crimea and its vicinity, heavily degrading the Russian Black Sea Fleet. Air defense losses apparently made Moscow nervous enough to move the latest S-500 systems to the peninsula, Ukraine's military intelligence chief Kirill Budanov said.
Kursor. Kursor. Kursor.